everyone. Welcome to theCUBE's coverage, extended coverage of the VIP Gala event. Earlier in the day, we were at the Monaco Crypto Summit where we had 11 years, all the thought leaders here in Monaco coming together. It's a global event. It's an inner circle. It's a beginning. It's an overall event. It's a kernel of the best of the best from finance, entrepreneurship, government coming together here with the Gala event at the Yacht Club in Monaco. And we got a great lineup here. We have Shermana Alderwish from Decentralized Investment Group here with me. She and I were just talking. We're going to have a great conversation. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's kind of our laid back queue. Not only have an anchor desk, but we're kind of have conversations. Right. Um, you know, one of the things that we've been talking about is, you know, the technology innovation around decentralized. Right. Um, you've been an entrepreneur nine, nine, nine years yes. plus. <laughs> You're in a region of the world right now where it's exploding. Absolutely. You're in Dubai. Absolutely. Tell your story. You're in Dubai, there's a lot of action. What's happening? So, Dubai is, is really the bridge between the East and the West. And it's grown, I've, I've had the privilege of witnessing Dubai's growth for over 16 years now. So I've been based in Dubai for 16 years. I'm originally from Jordan, lived in 11 countries. You can call me a global nomad. <laughs> um, home is where my suitcase is and where I, you know, where I'm, I'm literally with my friends and community and the work that I do. Um, so I've been there and I've witnessed this growth through working with the government there as well. So nine years ago, I jumped into the world of entrepreneurship. I specialize in art and education. Um, also, I work extensively now in uh, decentralized, uh, with Decentralized Investment Group. So we specialize in DeFi, GameFi, and also digital assets. So it's a beautiful time to be in Dubai right now and witness that growth in Web3. Um, there's going to be a summit that's actually happening in September, and so it's attracting all the global leaders there with the government there. So they're really investing in You know the date forward. on that? Sorry? You know the date on that? Yeah. Oh, the date is going to be September either 27th or 28th. So later in the month? Yes, later in the month of September. Okay. So it's very exciting to be a part of that. Well, I love that you're on here, because I want to, first of all, you look fabulous. Oh, great, thank you. Great event, everyone's dressed up here. <laughs> um, but one of the things I've been passionate about is women in tech, and I know you've got a project yes. now, you're working on this. Yes. Um, not only because it's, it's needed, yeah. but they're taking over, there's a lot of growth. Absolutely. The young entrepreneurs, young practitioners, Absolutely. young women all around the world. Absolutely. And we did a five uh, region women in tech on March 7th with Stanford University Amazing. and Amazon Web Services, and I couldn't believe the stories. So we're going to do more, and I want to get your take on this because there are stories that need to be told. Absolutely. What are, what are some of the stories that you're seeing? Well, some of the some of the cautionary tales, some of the successes. <laughs> well, you have, I mean, the Middle East right now is really a space, especially in Dubai and the UAE, the growth of women in entrepreneurship, the support that we have from incubators there. There is a hunger for growth and learning and innovation. And that is the beauty of being there. There are so many incredible stories, not one that I could say right now, but each and every story is exquisite and extraordinary. And what's really amazing is that you have the community there that supports one another, especially women in tech. Um, I'm, I'm actually one of the co-founders of Made For You Global, which is a tech platform which attracts entrepreneurship, female entrepreneurs, and really helping them kind of grow to their potential or maximize their potential. And we're actually going to have it on Web3 as well and integrate it within the blockchain. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of passion for, for growth in women in tech, and, um, and there's so many incredible stories to come. Not yeah. just one, so many. And I invite you to come to oh, Dubai I'm, so I can introduce you to all these so incredible I'm really glad you're inclusive stories. of men. <laughs> <laughs> of course we're inclusive of men. You know, men and women, I mean, it's a community that brings together yeah. these ideas. Yeah. I will say, I had to go to the microphone <laughs> one time because I love doing the Stanford Women in Data Science, uh -huh. but and we have female uh, hosts. I just want to do the interviews right there, so smart. <laughs> I said, Chuck, can we have the female interviews? Because, you know, like, okay. But they included me. Um, oh, yes. but, but in all seriousness, now, this is a major force because uh, women entrepreneurship make up 50% of the, of the target Absolutely. audience of all products. Absolutely. So if, why, why isn't there more developers and yeah. input into the products and policies right. that shape our society? This has been one of those head-scratching moments and we're making progress, but not fast enough. Absolutely, and you know what? Especially after COVID. So after COVID, we all learned the lessons of the hybrid models, of being more flexible, of being more innovative, of being making mm -hmm. use of our time more effectively. And we've witnessed like 
an increase in women in tech over the years, and especially in Web3. And Decentralized Investment Group invests heavily into women and in tech as well. Give some examples of some things you're working on right now, projects so you're investing we're, in. Well, everything that we do is inclusive of women. So with GameFi, for example, we specialize greatly in GameFi through our subsidiary a company based in uh, the US. It's called XYZZY, it's gaming. And actually, many of our creative team are women who are the developers behind the scenes, who are bringing it to life. A lot of, basically, we're trying to educate the public as well about how to get MetaMask wallets and to enter into this field. It's all about education and growing that momentum to be able to be more and more inclusive. Do you think you can help us get a cube host out there? Of course, <laughs> of course. They got to be dynamic, of course, smart, of course. and no teleprompter. Of course, and we would love for you to come so that yeah. we can really introduce you to well, all now, of them. Now that COVID's over, we had a big plan on going Cube Global, taking it out in 2019. We had London, Bahrain, Singapore, Amazing. Dubai, uh, Amazing. Korea. And so we wanted to really get out right. there and create a node, right. an open source kind of vibe where right. the folks all around the world could connect through the network effect. Uh -huh. And one thing I noticed about the women in tech, especially uh, in your area, is the networking is really high velocity. Absolutely. People like to network out there. Is that, do you see that as well? Absolutely, because it's a, it's a city of transition. You know, so that's the beauty of Dubai, it's positioning, power, and also it's a very innovative hub. And so with all of these summits that are coming up, it's attracting the communities and there's lots of networking that happens there. And I think more and more we're seeing with Web3 is that it is all about the community. It's all about bringing everyone together. <laughs> well, we got people walking through the set. See, that's the thing about a cocktail party. <laughs> we got people walking through the set. That's it. Made some color. Rachel Wolfson is in the house. Rachel is here. Ra that's Rachel Woodson. <laughs> if you didn't recognize her, she's with Coin Telegraph. Oh, uh, I don't know who the, uh, the the bloke is, as they say, but that's like, he looks cool to me. All right. So, betting back to kind of what you're working on. Have you been to Silicon Valley lately? Because you're seeing a lot of peering where people are looking at Web three and saying, yep. "Hey, Silicon Valley." is going through a transition too. You're seeing beacons of outposts right. where you have people moving to Miami, you got right. Dubai, you got right. Singapore, you got you know <laughs> Japan, all these countries. Now there's a there's a network effect. Absolutely. It's all about and honestly when I see I mean I've been to Miami so many times this year for all the web3 events and also in Austin and GDC as well. And what you see is that there is this ripple effect that's happening. And it is attracting more and more momentum because the conversations are there. And the openness to work together. It's all about partnerships and collaboration. This is a field which is based on collaboration communities. Awesome. What are some of the advice, advice you have for women out there that are watching around uh, being an entrepreneur? <laughs> because we were talking before we came on camera about it's hard, it's not easy, it's not for the faint of heart. Yes. As Teresa Carlson, a friend of mine, used to say all the time, entrepreneurship is a roller coaster. Of course. What's your advice? Don't give up or um, stay strong? What's your point of view? Honestly, if you're passionate about what you do, and I know it sounds very cliche, it's really important to stay focused, moving forward always. And really, it's about partnerships, it's about the ability to network, it's abil mm. the ability to fail as well, yeah. and to learn from your mistakes, yeah. and to know when to ask for help. Um, a lot of the times, you know, we shy away from asking for help or because we're embarrassed, but yeah. we need to be more open to failing, mm -hmm. to growing, and to also collaborating with yeah. one another. Okay, so final question for you. I got, by the way, you're an awesome guest. Oh, thank you. Um, what are you, what's next for you? What are you working on right now, next year? What's on your goal list? What's your so project? Many what's goals. your top goals? Oh my gosh. Top three. Top three, definitely immersing myself more into Web3. Web3 is definitely the future, getting made for you global on the ground and running in terms of the networking aspect in a female entrepreneurship. More and more giving back as well. So using Web3 for social good. So a lot more charitable, uh, innovative kind of um, campaigns that we hope to host within the Web3 community to be able to educate, to innovate, and also help those that are that need it the most as well. Sharmana, thank you for coming thank on theCUBE. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. I'm so okay. grateful. Okay, Bless you're watching theCUBE. We'll be back with more coverage here at the after party of the event. It's the VIP gala with <laughs> Prince Albert and all the top guests in Monaco. Leaning into crypto, I'm John Furrier. Thanks for watching.